What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Madden Ballers YouTube channel and our Georgia State Dynasty and NCAA Football 14. Week 5 of the 2014 college football season is here and Georgia State's traveling across the country to Washington to face the number 10 team in the country, the Washington Huskies. And you can see from the stats here, Georgia State looks to be overmatched in this game against the number 10 team in the country. And they're just hoping that they can avoid another blowout loss like last week against Tennessee where they lost 45-10. to The game's about to get started, so let's send it down to the field. The impact player to keep your eye on today is Bishop Sankey here. Last game he had 17 carries, 105 yards, and a touchdown, and he is a 99 overall. So Washington will get started here. Miles will hand off to Sankey. He goes right side, cuts it back up the middle, taken down after an 11-yard gain, and you see his stats on the season so far. First and 10 now. Miles will hand off to Sankey again, cuts it outside left, back inside, up the middle for five yards, setting up this third and five now. Miles under center here, dropping back to pass here. He's going to fire, and Sankey's got that one, but he's out of bounds after a two-yard catch, and the Washington Huskies would have to punt. Georgia State takes over here. Bell is under center, hands off to Gerald House, up the middle, and fights forward for four yards, setting up third and six here. Bell in the shotgun, takes the snap here, back to pass, fires, and that is caught by Michael Sanders. He has the first down and more. Nine-yard reception gives the Panthers a first down. Third and nine now for the Panthers. Bell out of the shotgun. He fires quickly, and that one's almost intercepted. Broken up by Brandon Beaver there, and that will force Georgia State to punt a quick series there for them. First and ten for Washington, and their first pass there is broken up by Patrick Griffin, the freshman for Georgia State. Should have had the interception, but a nice play nonetheless. Miles now dumps it off to Sankey here, past the 50, first down, inside the 40, taken down at the 32 and a half yard line, and we'll take a look at the replay here, a little dump off pass to the 99 overall halfback, and he had open field ahead of him, and gained a lot of yardage down the field into Panther territory. First and 10 now, four minutes to go in the first quarter. Miles will go on the read option. He'll cut it back up the middle, has the first down inside the 10-yard line, breaks a tackle and another and into the end zone for the touchdown. And Washington puts the first points on the board ahead 7-0 over Georgia State. We have a studio update here. Arkansas beats number four, Texas A&M, 42-35. Georgia State's next possession here. Bell on the read option, back up the middle there. Good for eight yards on that. QB keeper, second and two. Bell is under center here. What's he going to do? He's hands off to Gerald House, fighting forward for six yards and a Georgia State first down. First, third and nine now in this drive for Georgia State. Bell is going to fake the handoff here. He's looking to pass. He got a man over the middle. Michael Sanders, a nice diving catch for 16 yards. We'll take another look at this one. As you see, Michael Sanders, a nice diving catch there across the middle to grab that one for 16 yards and a first down. Third and seven now in this drive. Bell's in the shotgun. He'll take the snap here. He's going to fire quickly, and that one's caught by Miner, but broken up by the defender, and that sets up fourth and seven, and Georgia State would have to punt. The first quarter ends, Washington ahead seven to nothing. Second quarter gets started with Washington driving down the field. They're at midfield here. Miles looking to pass. He's going to hit Jenkins there for the seven-yard catch. That's going to set up second down and three. Washington comes to the line here. Miles is going to take it himself here, and he's going to get caught in the backfield. A two-yard loss on the play, and that one would set up third and four for Washington. Miles back to pass now. He's going to take this one himself too, and he's caught from behind just before he gets to the first down line. That sets up fourth and inches, and Georgia State takes over here. Ronnie Bell on the read option up the middle for 14 yards. And that's Coach Chip Nolan's plan here in this game, to run the ball a lot. And you see here, Bell back to pass here. First and 20 after a holding call. That's incomplete. Off the mark there. Second and 20 here. 
Bell in the shotgun. He's going to take the read option to get himself up the middle. And that one is good for 10 yards. Third and 10 now for Georgia State. Bell in the shotgun. Back to pass here. He's looking downfield. And that one's broken up by Shaq Thompson. And that would force Georgia State to punt. Just under five minutes to go in the half. Miles back to pass. And he is sacked. And that sets up third and 22. Washington would have to punt on that drive. Georgia State takes over here. Bell in the shotgun. Read option. Bell takes it up the middle. He's got the first down and more. A 12-yard gain on the ground. Third and seven now. And this drive, Bell back to pass. Over the middle, caught by Nathaniel Miner. There are a six-yard gain, setting up fourth and one in Washington territory. Georgia State decides to go for it. Bell under center here. He's going to hand off to Gerald House up the middle, and it looks like he got it, but the refs say no. And you look at the replay here. It looked like he got there, and Georgia State decides to challenge the spot of the ball here, so the refs will take another look at it. You decide for yourself on this one. I thought he got it. He got enough to get in there. It's kind of hard to tell in the replays here they're showing. But it looked to me like he got it from the first replays that we saw. And we'll see what the refs decide to do here. Even though they're inside the 30, I believe, here of Washington. It's really not going to make a difference if they get it or not, if they turn the ball over. And the refs come out, and they decide that the ruling on the field will stand. And Washington takes over here. Second and nine. Miles takes off here. He's up the middle. First down and more towards midfield. Down at the 45-yard line. A 17-yard gain. Second and 10 now for Washington. Miles back to pass. Fires to Jenkins. Jenkins has that catch. And a first down. 11-yard reception. On the Panthers territory now. First and 10. Miles. Quick pass out to Sankey here. And Sankey has that catch. Good for five yards. Setting up second and five. Washington will take a quick timeout. Miles now in the shotgun. Back to pass here. Fires over the middle for Washington. And Dwayne Washington has 13 yards and a first down. And Harry the Husky likes that one. First and 10. Miles in the shotgun. Back to pass. He's taken off here. He's going to cut it back up the middle. First down. Slides down at the 12-yard line. First and 10. Huskies. Miles now in first and 10. He's back to pass here. He's firing, and that one's almost picked off by Patrick Griffin. That would have been a pick six, but there's a flag on the play here also, and we have holding on Washington. That would set up a long second and 22 here now. Miles back to pass. He's going to fire. This one's caught by Williams, and Williams tackled at the five-yard line, a 19-yard gain. So on third and two, Miles is in the shotgun here. He's looking to pass. He takes it up the middle by himself, and he runs into his own man, finally taken down for a two-yard loss and setting up fourth and four, which would lead to a field goal and heading into halftime. Washington is ahead, 10 to nothing over Georgia State. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover margin. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it. Whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And it's because of the turnover differential. And you can look at the stats when you say that every single time. But, you know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still, still scoring points, still putting up good numbers but at the same time taking care of the big skin and they better value that thing because yeah you give it away and bad things happen david and i will stay locked in on everything going on in college football we're going to wrap it up here in the studio just about time to get you out to your second half brad and kirk ready with a call The second half starts with Georgia State on offense, and they did a pretty good job in the first half, limiting Washington only 10 points. They're still in this game as Ronnie Bell takes off here on the first play, and he has a first down up towards the 40-yard line. Second and 10 now. Bell's going to take the read option, and that one is stuffed in the backfield for a 7-yard loss, and that sets up this long third and 17 for the Panthers. Bell out of the shotgun here. He's looking to pass. He's going to fire deep, and this one is off the mark into triple coverage. Should have been picked off, and Georgia State would punt. 
Washington takes over here. Miles is going to fake the handoff, and he's going to get stuffed in the backfield. A five-yard loss in the sack, setting up second and 15 for the Huskies. Miles back to pass now again, and he would get break that tackle and dump it off to Peller there, and that one's going to be caught, but it's a two-yard loss as he's taken out of bounds. Third and 17 now for Washington. Miles back to pass again. He's looking deep. He fires, and that one's picked off by Joseph Peterson, and Peterson makes the big play for the Panthers near midfield to turn this game around, and here towards midfield in Husky territory. Bell's going to fake the handoff, break a tackle, go up middle, cut it up, and he's going to get nine and a half yards on that QB keeper. Second and inches now. Bell under center. Handoff to Gerald House up the middle. He has the first down and more. He fights forward for five yards giving the Panthers a first down. Third and eight now for Georgia State. Bell's in the shotgun. He's dropped back to pass. He's rolling out right. He's taking off on his own here. He's down towards the first down marker, and he has it inside the 20, a 10-yard gain. First and 10 now. Bell under center. He hands off to Gerald House up the middle, and House fights forward for four yards, setting up second down and six. Third and four now on this drive for the Panthers. Bell's in the shotgun here. He's going to take it on his own on the read option. Up the middle, first down, cuts it up middle, into the end zone for the touchdown. And Georgia State is now down by three points, 10-7 to seven to Washington here in the third quarter. As you look at the replay of the touchdown here, Bell was pretty much untouched till he went to the end zone. And it's 10-7 to seven Washington now as they take over here late in the third quarter. Miles back to pass. He's going to take off. He has open field ahead of him, and he breaks one tackle up past the 40, taken out at the 42-yard line. Second down and 10 now. Miles back to pass. He's firing over to the right side. Minkins has that one. He has a first down. Stiffs arms a guy past midfield, taken down at the 41. Third and 12 now. Miles back to pass here for Washington. He's going to fire. That one's caught by Minkins, and Minkins has it for 11 yards. One yard short there, and that is going to set up a field goal, which would be good. And at the end of the third quarter, Washington is ahead 13-7 to over Georgia State. Fourth quarter gets underway. Georgia State is down 13-7. to They have the ball. They're driving on first and 10. Handoff to Gerald House up the middle, fighting forward for five yards. And Georgia State has not made the mistake that has caused them this game today, so they're still in it. Bell back to pass here on third nine, rolling out, and he throws an interception to Beaver, and there is the first mistake of the day, and it comes in the fourth quarter when they were only down by six points. Miles back to pass now as Washington takes over. He takes off, he cuts it up, and he stumbles, and he gets nine yards, and it looks like Gerald House was injured on that last drive there, but we're going to keep him in the game because we need him to rush the ball. Miles now hands off to Sankey, up the middle, cuts it to the right, and he's down at the one-yard line, setting up first and goal for the Washington Huskies. On the very next play, Miles under center, he hands off to Sankey, up the middle, into the end zone, and Washington scores in the fourth quarter here. Bishop Sankey with the one-yard touchdown, and Washington's going to go for two points here. Miles back to pass, he fires, he hits Williams in the end zone, and that's a two-point conversion, and Washington is up by two touchdowns now. Georgia State takes over here. Ronnie Bell on second and eight. Back to pass. Firing deep and caught by Michael Sanders. He's past the 40, inside the 30, inside the 15. Finally taken down at the 12 yard line. And you look at the replay here. A very well caught ball and very nice pass there as the receiver went for the interception instead of the knockdown. And Michael Sanders comes down with it and gets down inside the 15 yard line of the Huskies. And Georgia State might have some new life here. First and 10, Ronnie Bell out of the shotgun. He's going to take it on the read option. He'll cut it up the middle a little bit, but he's going to lose one yard on that play. Second and 11 here. Bell under center. He'll fake the handoff. He's going to roll out right. Throw on the run, and Miner has that catch. Nathaniel Miner has a nine-yard catch. Third and two now for the Huskies, or for Georgia State, excuse me. Handoff to Gerald House up the middle, and he has just enough for the first down. It's first and goal from about the one-and-a-half-yard line here. And on first and goal, House up the middle, and he's going to get stuffed for a one-yard loss on the play. A nice play by the Huskies defense. Second and goal now, Bell will fake the handoff here, roll out, and he's going to try to throw this one away, but he is sacked for a 13-yard loss. 
third and goal now. Bell in the shotgun, back to pass. He steps up a bit, and he is sacked for us. Another seven yards on the play, setting up fourth and goal, and with under two minutes to go, and down by two touchdowns. Georgia State's got to go for it. Bell back to pass, firing quickly, and that one is dropped by Michael Sanders. John Jefferson makes the deflection there, and Washington would take over and run the clock out. Bishop Sankey as your player of the game, 14 carries, 102 yards, and a touchdown on the day. A very nice game by Georgia State, though, overall. They held the Huskies to only 21 points and did get on the board there. Washington takes this game 21-7 over Georgia State. So taking a look at the stats from today's game, Georgia State did what they wanted to in this game. They wanted to control time possession, and they did that, controlling it more than Washington, and they threw for 100 yards and ran for over 100. Players of the game here for Georgia State, Ronnie Bell, 5 for 14, 100 yards passing, 15 carries, 73 yards, and a touchdown. On defense, Joseph Peterson, 3 tackles, 1 for a loss, and that interception that led to our only points of the day. Looking at recruiting now, we're looking at some punters here. Jason Tan, 6'2", from Texas, and he has awesome kick power, awesome accuracy there, but we were very far behind. We are number three on his board and just outside of the cutoff there. Donald Sims here, 6'5", 206, from Alabama. He is one we're going after. We are not as far behind on him. He's plus two overall there to a 63. He's got decent kick power and decent accuracy, and we're third on his board. So we'll see where that leads. And Brett Theodbu or something, I'm not sure how you say his name. We're in the lead, though, on him, and he is from Georgia, so we have a good option there to pitch to him. Though he has good kick power but bad accuracy, and you see we do lead him over FAU. So we'll advance the week, and we have our first commit, Mike Johnson, 69 overall fullback, has committed to our team, and we have some people ready for visits. So we are in week six now. For the next episode, we will start our Sun Belt Conference play in week six. We come into this week one and two. Troy is two and two, and we will see what happens in the next episode with that game. If you like this episode, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and we'll catch you guys in the next episode.